I think some of the community meetings that Heather's mentioned, quite extraordinary, transformative for, for uh, me and for some others from the clinical research team who attended them, to understand how powerful the community voice could be. So Heather's mentioned that people did not know that, this, that there might be links between oral health and their general health. And once they became aware of it, how strongly they wanted to lobby and promote this within their communities, how they wanted to take it forward, independent, in many ways independent of us. That's, that's an important thing to learn. And in those, some of those meetings also, to talk about uh, some of the groups and communities that we just don't talk to. Um, and part of the reason for that is we just don't know who they are. You know, they're so-called hard to reach, but it's not so much that, you know, it's not so much that hard to reach. I don't know who they are. Um, and uh, you know, people in those meetings would say, oh yeah, but you know, this group, if, if, you, if you meet with this person, um, if, you, if, you're looking to, if you're looking to engage, these are the people who are most likely to have these serious health issues. And it might be this particular faith group. And if you want to get to, if you want to talk to this faith group, this is how you might get into that and how you might start to establish an engagement and a dialogue. I would never have occurred to me. To, to do that. And so again, some of the interaction in those community meetings was, was quite remarkable.